Hello and welcome. My name is uh, Jerry Hopper, <coughs> um, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about <coughs> the Squad XML. What is the Squad XML, and what can you do with it? And actually, uh, informing you about the Squad XML or .com, the one and only tool you need to have uh, to manage your Squad. <coughs> so, okay, Squad XML. Well, probably the guys who are watching know already what it is. A bit, uh, the Squad XML is an uh, uh, a tool to show your um, logo <coughs> in game on a vehicle on your arm uh, but also be part of a team where all the team members wear the same badge <coughs> so uh, the squad XML is actually a file which resides on the server somewhere and it will be read by the game server so that's the squad XML <coughs> uh, the squad XML applies to the games from Bohemia Interactive for instance, Armed Assault, Take on Helicopters, and um, the future games, of course, but also DayZ, the mod right now, which is running on Arma, but DayZ, the standalone, probably will have the Squad XML too. So here we go, Squad XML, what is it? Let's have a look why I think my tool is needed uh, for today's management of your Squad XML. Let's do a quick search on the Squad XML, and here we see a lot of... Um, uh, results, uh, for instance, how to create a squad XML, but also a lot of problems. People who have problems with their squad XML. They don't get the transparency, They the stuff don't work, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of problems um, with the squad XML. And also in the DayZ world, people like to know how a squad XML works. So, okay, now <coughs> We know this, let's go to the Bohemian Interactive Wiki. The Wiki actually describes how to create your squad XML and how you can, with your clan, um, have a single point where you can manage your members and, and the logo. Well, the squad XML page on the Bohemian Interactive Wiki is very um, descriptive, but directly you see, you see code, you see, well, there are enough examples. But as you can see here, there's a lot of information which a lot of people don't understand. Not everybody is uh, a programmer. Luckily for you, I am, and therefore I created the squadxml.limnosradio.com website, which is actually a website where you can log in uh, with Facebook or Twitter. Um, I skipped the normal login because I want to add more social features. But the base functionality is actually, um, you can manage your squad here. Let's have a quick look. We have communities, and a community is actually a clan or something. So for instance, let's say um, uh, you're from Kelly's Heroes, you would see a kellysheroes.co.uk um, link. And if you would click that, you would see several squads. So let's start with the beginning. Let's first log in. I'm going to show you how to log in with Facebook. With Twitter, it's actually the same. It's very easy. Uh, people who are using Facebook probably know. So let's click it. And let's hope I didn't link this account already. Well, too bad I did. Um, but normally, you would see a page from Facebook that says, Hey, do you want to allow this application to use my Facebook tool? And well, just say yes and then you'll be logged in. Here you see my Facebook uh, account is Jerry Hopper. Uh, nine and uh, let's see what kind of information we have here in the user panel this is the user panel and this is the place where you need to start and you start at your profile let's go to the profile I filled this in already this should be your player ID this is the player ID which you can find in game there's a little balloon with info which kind of helps you to remember what to fill in there same for the nickname it's very important that your nickname is exactly as in-game. In-game you can set your profile information and you can set a nickname. This should be exactly that. For the rest you can fill in the usual information which doesn't really need to match uh, the squad XML. So as you can see I filled it in and there it is. You press save your changes and your profile is saved. You're done. Your squad XML uh, URL is here. You can just copy this and fill this in into the game. But now let's really start making some cool stuff here. I've got my profile. 
which is completely done and I'm gonna go to my communities as you can see I created a community called surroundingradio.com it could be actually whatever see we create a new community and now I have two communities which I can choose from <coughs> of course there will be many more communities but this is only for me this is what I'm the moderator or the owner of let's go to SaraniRadio.com and let's have a see here's a squad there's the alpha squad which is part of SaraniRadio.com let's go back to my communities and as you've seen I've created a whatever the um, community and if we click that we will have an empty community alright so let's do the da squad whoops so here uh, I am in my uh, whatever the da um, community and I'm com I'm creating the da squad as you can see there's also a big delete button where you can delete the community that can only be done when a community is empty so you need to delete all the squads before you can delete a community <coughs> okay so we have created the whatever the um, uh, the squad and we're gonna go into that and here you see the heart of the squad XML tool this is my squad or this is a squad and here I can add information well let's first fill out all the generic information if you don't fill it in the system will start whining to fill in your information so here we go this is a squad Nick yeah I don't know most of the times a squad Nick is, is a short tag like a, a DS from the squad so let's choose DS uh, do I have a URL uh, do I have a URL of course the <coughs> ah, too bad oh I probably need to say that's a HTTP website yeah that's it all right so we have everything done here all the information is I think correct and I'm gonna save the changes here we are this is the squad the conversion status gives a little dot here and uh, that actually means that there's uh, no squad uh, logo yet therefore you see this nice squad XML image which is not actually the logo but this is just to fill up the space so um, let's first see um, we have the squad let's create a squad logo or edit the squad logo uh, you can create one from scratch you can edit one if you have one already and you can upload a custom image uh, let's go for the upload image I'm gonna go to my pictures I have very nice logos here let's take some 24-bit transparent PNG image it's uploading and there it is okay so this is my current squad logo and this is the one I uploaded here below hope oh. anyways let's click on the logo below voila as you can see you have chosen this as your uh, primary squad logo now on the top you will see the PAA conversion status that actually means that your logo this, this is the status of your logo we've uploaded a PNG file <coughs> and eventually this need to become a PHA file a PAA file for the game so the system is sending this to a queue and it will be processed it takes like whew, maybe two minutes and then your image uh, will be uh, converted so let's save the changes and see we're still waiting online and uh, well that's about it <coughs> let's assume everything is working and uh, the, the image is being converted doesn't matter you don't have to wait for it you can just go uh, edit your squad logo because well this is a little bit dull ain't it and because I don't have uh, any tool like uh, Adobe Photoshop or any other well image uh, editing program except for paint and I hate paint I've created a very nice image editor inside this tool so with this image we're gonna add some nice text on it maybe a 
though. So <coughs> let's go. We click on edit squad logo and we will be redirected to pixlr.com. And Pixlr is just amazing because it's a Photoshop in your browser. So let's see what can we do. We're gonna say duh. duh. And let's do something weird with the text. Let's see what we have here. I have no clue if you can upload uh, custom fonts, but I will look into to that in the future. Well, let's see. Duh. It's nice and, well, duh. Well, I think uh, this would be perfect for my squad logo. Maybe I'm gonna add some, um, let's see, something is wrong here. This is layered. Eh? You can use layers in this program, so it's very nice to create something here from scratch. You can, like, do anything. It doesn't actually matter what. If you're a little bit handy with your, with your mouse and a little bit artistic, you can create a squad logo from scratch. So let's say we're happy with what we got here. Now we go to File. I'm sorry, this is Dutch. <laughs> it's because my browser is Dutch. Um, but we go to File and we go to Save. Shortcut, Control S, just like in Windows. Here we go. You can see the transparency. Well, I'm actually quite happy with it. I'm going to say OK. Let's save it. And now it's saving. As you can see on the top, the, the Q information, the, the, the P, PAA conversion status is gone. This means your squad logo is actually converted. Well, now we have the edited logo and uh, I'm quite happy with it. And let's choose this. So here we have the squad. Um, we have no members yet, as you can see here. And of course, I want to be member of the squad, so I'm going to join the squad. And as you can see here, I'm in the squad. Let's go to the communities. This is public information. Everybody can see this. And let's see, we go to whatever the, and we check the the squad, and there we are. Because I'm logged in, I can also leave the squad. Other people who are not member of your squad can join your squad here. So it's very convenient. Um, Let's go back to uh, where I actually set my uh, squad. Because as you can see, I have uh, multiple communities. Let's show. I have two communities with a alpha squad and a duh squad. How does the game know which squad to use? Well, that's very simple. You go to your settings. You go to my squad XML, your squad XML actually. Duh. And you can say set this one as your current squad XML. Well, why don't I see my other squad, my alpha squad? That's probably because I'm not member of it yet. Well, we can quickly go here and join it from here. Go to the alpha squad. You see, no members yet. I'm gonna join the squad. I'm in there. Going to my squad XML. And here we are. I can choose from these squads. But I can also join another squad from somebody else, like Fiox Gaming. I see the squad has a few members. I'm going to join it. I'm in it. I'm going to my squad XML, actually. And here we have the Fiox. Yeah, there's something wrong with the logo. But as you can see, I can set my squad XML here. Well, we've created the DA squad, so let's continue with this. This is the DA squad, and here we have our squad XML. How does our squad XML look like? Well, here it is. This is your squad XML, which is being viewed from a browser. In game, of course, you only see the nice little image here um, and the information, and that's about it. So that's actually within a few minutes you have created your own um, squad XML, including a transparent image for on your vehicles. And that's about it. Uh, in the future, there will be more functionality, uh, moderatorship of uh, communities and squads. Uh, that's something for the future. What I do know, uh, I would like to urge you to use the system and give me some feedback. Um, for your convenience, I've created also a JSON feed of a squad. And a lot of people would say, a what feed? Well, if you don't understand what I say by a JSON feed, don't bother. Don't think about it, just use the system. 
for the creative people and the programmers out there I would like to uh, say give me feedback what kind of information would you like to get pulled out of the system and what kind of stuff would you like to have added um, but in short this is uh, how you can create your squad XML for Armed Assault, for Take on Helicopters, DayZ, and of course the future games, I think Arma 3, um, within 5 minutes. Just go to squadxml.limnosradio.com. Well, that's it for today. My name is Jerry Hopper. If you have any questions, I'm sure you know how to find me through the Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus channels. Thank you for listening and watching. See you next time. Bye bye.